Welcome back. It is the first Tuesday of the month, which means, as always, that we get a new rotation of free assets on the Epic Marketplace Store. This month, I was not entirely certain we would be getting any free assets, because this is a period where Unreal Engine is transitioning from the Unreal Epic Marketplace uh, to the new Fab Marketplace. If you're not familiar with this, I have a video description link that you can look and see all the interesting details and how this might affect you. Um, so I was a bit uh, reserved about if we were going to be getting any new assets this month. But we were given some, five as usual, so that's good, great. Uh, if this is something that will continue on the new Fab platform, I'm not entirely certain. So I guess time will tell. Hopefully this is something that they do continue with because it's appreciated by, well, everybody that has a lack of assets and maybe get something useful from it. And it's a little bit of goodwill towards the community as well, which is value in itself, of course. Anyway, to get these assets, all you need to do is go to the Epic Marketplace, either in the web browser or in the launcher. You go to free for the month section and you can find these five assets. And you need to get them before the next rotation if you want to keep them forever. Now, this month we are getting Cave Ruins. The Cave Ruins is an environment asset pack made by Pactev. It is an asset containing 47 meshes. It says it contains 11 blueprints, also a character and an NPC. It is in essence a ruined city or temple inside of a cave. Fantasy Characters Pack. The Fantasy Character Asset Pack is an asset by Bugrimov Maxim. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. It is a pack that consists of 10 characters. In addition to the characters, there is a number of animations and some weapons included as well. Temples of Cambodia. The Temples of Cambodia asset pack is an asset created by Scans Factory. It is a pack of over 150 meshes of realistic look due to being made based on photogrammetry. It includes both interior as well as exterior geometry and is of very high visual fidelity. Rocket Thruster Exhaust FX. Uh, the asset pack that is the Rocket Thruster Exhaust is made by Shogun Games. It is a visual effects pack that consists of 12 different exhaust effects for vehicles like cars, airplanes, spaceships and similar, but can also be used for other types of exhaust as well with a little bit of tweaking and imagination. Stylized Paris Street. Uh, this asset pack is an environmental pack made by Stylarts. But I think it is either freelanced for Learte Studios or purchased to be part of their inventory of assets. It is a highly stylized type of area of Paris focused around a cafe. It consists of 166 meshes. There is no interior in this asset, it is only exterior. So let's take a closer look at these assets. So first out we have the Cave Ruins asset. So the Cave Ruins is essentially a bunch of different structures that are for some reason inside of a cave. And this is more or less the, the, the prime visual spot of this asset pack. You can walk around this asset a little bit more and find some nooks and crannies where there are some candles and some chests and some weapons and some small things like that. But if you go out uh, on a high scope you can see that this is what it looks like from outside so it's basically just meant to be viewed from the inside all the things clipping through different places make this the only actual location where it looks uh, pretty good if you go up here as well the illusion sort of breaks and it doesn't look very good so it's sort of made from a picture position of something like this where you're supposed to be viewing the, the in the asset um, in addition to this, uh, it has uh, 47 meshes inside of it, which is an okay, rather small pack. But in addition to this, it also boasts that it has 11 blueprints. And this is unfortunately not true. 
if you go and look, you can see that we actually have nine blueprints inside of this pack, and maybe that doesn't mean a whole lot because it's like, okay, 11, 9. It might just be incorrect information. Uh, but 11 is highly, highly exaggerated as well because what we see here is essentially the same type of blueprint, it's just a different static mesh inside of it, and it's that's all it is. It's a configuration of assets put together. Uh, there's nothing really to it. It doesn't contain much at all when it comes to uh, code or logic or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, the 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 boast of containing blueprints doesn't really mean a whole lot. Uh, it does have a blueprint for fire here, uh, which is a little bit odd. Uh, I'm assuming these two are meant to be sort of uh, visual effects, um, and they're used probably somewhere in the level, I didn't check exactly where. And then we have a game mode, which is empty. And then we have what is the character and the NPC, which is essentially the same thing with the same uh, skeletal mesh inside of it. But this is something that allows you to uh, tie together with the asset uh, as well. So that's what you're getting inside of this asset pack. Next up we have the Fantasy Characters pack, and this pack consists of, like I said, 10 characters. So you can see uh, over here we have a bunch of different characters. You have some Berserkers and I don't know what this is supposed to be, an oversized dwarf, who knows, maybe an assassin, some kind of golem, uh, maybe a mercenary of some kind, maybe a viking. Uh, I don't even know. And a werewolf, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, so these are the different characters that are all mapped with the Unreal Epic Skeleton. So they have that kind of bone structure. Then you have the two that are outside of that, which is this one, which is the Orc Hammer, and this one over here, which is called the Troll. So these two do not have the Epic uh, Skeleton, so they have within their pack a set of animations and that's what you have available to you and this one is those animations and when it comes to the epically rigged uh, characters you can see that you have some jumping animations and movement animations but in addition to that you also have a uh, small but okay selection of different types of animations here in the background that, that should work as well with these characters and there's sneaking and all kinds of stuff here going on. So mostly locomotion, but some other animations as well. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a small assortment when it comes to some uh, clothing and armory, and armor and weaponry, uh, cloth and such things as well, horns, boots and such as well. So. All of those can be mixed and matched to get a little bit of a variation on the different characters that are included in this pack. Next up we have the Rocket Thruster Exhaust Visual Effects Pack. And this is essentially what you get. You have these different types of effects. And you can see that they have a fair amount of variation in their presentation. Some of them are very intense and have sparks and some of them look more like fire exhausts and they have different types of uh, particles colors and uh, forms in their uh, exhaust as well and you can see that they're sort of categorized in rocket plumes and variable customization examples so these ones over here they have uh, parameters exposed to them which allows you to uh, change their their looks so you can well more or less uh, affect their uh, their visuals here by changing the different uh, parameters that this Niagara effect is uh, working with essentially so I'm assuming these ones do not I did never check uh, they have it as well so all of these are somewhat parameterized when it comes to editing their um, 
appearance which allows it to be used more plug and play. You can just tweak a little bit and maybe you can get the look that you're after. You don't have to dig too deep into the actual Niagara effect itself to get what you're after. So nice to see a visual effects pack. These are always appreciated. And like I uh, said in my previous uh, monthly uh, video, I wanted to have some feedback from the people watching uh, to see what kind of uh, packs you would like to see in the future when it comes to these uh, monthly giveaways and one of them that uh, were appearing a lot was uh, visual effects so this is probably something that is going to be appreciated in that regard uh, there were some others as well i had a plan to actually compile a bunch of suggestions for epic based on the feedback i got from that video and I have not put it together in this video because I wasn't sure there were going to be any and I'm not sure if there's going to be any more free assets next month. So if we do get free monthly assets again next month, I will be making sure to include that section as well into it. Uh, so if you want to give some feedback on what you would like to see uh, in assets moving forward so we can give some feedback back to Epic, uh, feel free to leave that in uh, the comments section if you want to. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we have the Temples of Cambodia Ruins Interior and Exterior Pack. So the, this is the one that has very high fidelity, probably because it's made uh, by photogrammetry like it's described in the assets. And uh, yeah, you can pretty clearly see that it has a lot of detail in it. And yeah, that's essentially it. This is the exterior demo scene. There is also an interior one and uh, they are of similar quality uh, other than that there's really not much to be said uh, if this is the kind of ruins or type of style that you're after when it comes to your assets uh, this might be very useful because this looks very very nice And lastly, we have the stylized Paris street. So this, as you can see from all of the cobblestones to the, uh, the walls and the furniture and everything else, it is highly stylized, which by itself is not necessarily a bad thing, but it might be difficult to find something that matches this kind of style, unless this is something you actually have to begin with. If we go up a little bit in the sky, you can see that this is a very small scene. It's essentially a very, very small area around this little cafe over here. And the cafe itself does not have an interior. So it's only the exteriors that we're getting here for this very, very small area. And this is, I would say, a common occurrence when it comes to assets, which I believe this is to be related to Learte Studios. They are generally of high quality, but they are generally very niche or very small. And I feel that this type of asset is not actually something that's useful for the people that are getting it on the marketplace. It would be better to use your uh, program to uh, spotlight and, and bring assets to users from others either have Learte Studios larger packs be part of it or don't use the small ones and use others instead because the use cases for these are so niche I don't think almost anyone gets any use of them at all so it's essentially a slot every month being wasted when when it comes to this so personally I feel that this kind of slot when it's used by these are better used for something else that can be more beneficial for uh, the underlying users. But yeah, that's my opinion. If you have a different one, make sure to leave it in the comment section. Anyway, that is all for now. I hope that this was useful to you. Anyway, keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.